<laughs> Wake up in the morning, get my grind on. Hop in the shower, brush my teeth, and get my shine on. Hey, Skylar Mac, we taking trips to different time zones. I feel like E.T. Way, these bitches trying to find home. Wake up in the morning, get my grind on. Hop in the shower, brush my teeth. Welcome, everybody, to Living on Purpose podcast. We're your hosts, James Hagler and myself, Jason Wilson. Today, we have Sheila Thelen. <laughs> She's a vestibular trainer, and she has her own equipment, uh, her own invention, actually, the vestibular training system. Welcome. Thanks so much for having me. It, it, it's going to be crazy. I can't wait. Thank you. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Thank you for being here. No doubt. So we love to talk about people's career path and um, their purpose in life. So take us from the beginning, Sheila. What did you want to do when you uh, grew up? Uh, world domination was always kind of a plan, even as a young <laughs> kid. But, you know, so, yeah, I was, I was just saying earlier, I've had like so many different careers and so many different projects. And, and, you know, and I got to, I was saying earlier, I got to work with Prince when I was a young college intern uh, over at Paisley Park. I've worked in horse race tracks, but I really got into coaching because as a kid, I figure skated, you know, that was my sport as a kid. And it was figure skating. And I got into coaching and uh, really, really got into coaching, you know, came up with a couple of patented products and, you know, came up with more and more training things. And I really got into these off ice harnesses and spinners, you know, like these electric spinners that kind of you stand on and then they kind of crank you up and you fly up into the air and um, it's, it's, it's really kind of fun videos to watch when you see them. It's a little overwhelming. And, but the fun part is this project now and what my whole purpose is, is now applying world-class sports training tools to the general public. Okay. So did you create this device that you have or how did that come about? So we have a patent pending on the application of the electric spinner and the whole harness system. And we've really owned this company for over 30 years. So really for 30 years, I've been doing vestibular training, which is basically, it, it affects everyone. It's everyone's how your eyes and ears process back into your brain. And it really controls not only your balance system, but it's your cognitive system. So it's, it's really fascinating work to see how this applies to the general athletes of the world, but also to the aging population. Also understanding spatial and, and how your brain handles spatial disorientation. So we've been working with a ton of different groups that, that's really diverse, even for us. We were fascinated with the diversity of the company. So Sheila, um, were you really, really passionate about sports as a child? I loved sports I and mean, I loved skating and I loved all working with all the other different sports. I was um, an athletic, athletic trainer in college, like taping knees and ankles. And, and that's where I actually started um, really watching football from the sidelines. Uh, and that was, you know, man, to see the really, you know, the really fast sports was fascinating to watch. Um, I'm super, super short. I know I sound like a squirrel on these things, but like I'm super short. And so it was really fun seeing like really tall sports. I was like, wow, this is so fun. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I enjoyed the tall sports as a really short person, you know, so it, it was fun. And, and that leads to me back to like other questions, like in sports of like, what is perfect movement and why do people really like sports? And, and when you make a perfect movement in whatever sport you're in, your brain loves it, you know, and how it, interesting and how exciting your brain loves perfect movement and people can describe it so vividly where were you at who saw it the lights were on over here what it smelled like that time you did a perfect jump a perfect slap shot perfect balance on your sailboat these are you know the perfect punch you know you, no. your brain loves it. And, it and it keeps going back to wanting to do that who's the first person you tested this on and what was the reaction when you knew that it worked and it was something that you was going to really uh, stick to and follow and it can help uh, a lot of not, uh, athletes, excuse me, a lot of athletes, especially the gymnastics. I'm still uh, 
I'm still uh, I'm still on that man, and uh, some of the videos that you showed us and how it worked and everything. I was so fascinated about it. And I think that the gymnastic world, well, once they get a hold of you, it, uh, you're gonna you're not gonna have no time to do anything else because you're gonna really help a lot of those kids. Uh, you know, get out of that slump that they're in, it, or you know, help them defeat that twisties uh, thing that they go through. You know, I've just been doing this forever. I've been doing this for 30 years. Like I have almost a half a million kids and athletes that I've worked with worldwide. I even coach. That's called a double tool. Yeah, <laughs> like it's crazy. And like I do a whole thing. I even coach a kid in Australia on Zoom. You know, like yeah. it's even that fascinates me that I've done it. But really, I've just worked with so many kids with so many outstanding outcomes. Uh, not only just balance wise. But, but cognitive, they're fast, they're smart, and how that goes on to apply to the rest of their lives. Uh, I've worked with kids with autism, you know, and sensory yeah. stuff. And to see those improvements, uh, like my heart just sings. I, I tear up a little bit when I talk about that because that's, that's what matters. You know, and that's what right. kind of comes back to this whole project of, of improving people's lives and improving kids' lives and improves their families' lives that bring them on to like really successful futures in adulthood right. that really, that it's the coach in us, you know, and the coach that wants to see everyone improve, you know, in the process of getting from start to finish. Well, uh, how did you develop, how did you develop this? How did you develop the, the, the machine to, you know, what gave you that insight to say, I need to do this and I need this machine needs to twirl. Uh, we need to host them up and twirl them around. What, what gave you that, that uh insight so it's all sports based like you know, so turn really that light like, bulb on <laughs> yeah th th there's there's a lot of weird light bulbs in my head there's yeah. a lot of them, you know but I, I do a whole thing on like it started out actually when i had an athlete i was pregnant at the time and i had an athlete on they have an on ice harness where it's just like a cable and a harness and we kind of skate back and forth with the kid and the kid goes oh i can't do this without your help and i'm like well but you just did it perfectly Right. And I wasn't really helping you. Like, like you don't need my help. Because nope, can't do it without your help. So we, so that's what turned uh, the first light bulb on, you know, about 10, 27 years ago of, we created kind of like a bungee harness, kind of like, like a Johnny jump up. Like, remember right. those for kids, you know, like in doorways, we designed that for figure skaters so that when they jumped, they, they wouldn't fall and hurt themselves, but they had to do it all by themselves. There was nothing for the coach to hold on to, which oh, then got me kind of into the harness system industry. And, you know, and, and I found an engineer that could build it for me. And, and I started just solving problems and, you know, and the same thing with like rotation and figure skating. Originally we designed all this stuff just for figure skaters, you know, just spinning, turning, turning, balance, spinning, air, balance, balance, turning. Um, and the Russians really came up with that spinning platter. Uh, and it was funny when I first met with my engineer trying to build a spinning platter because we wanted it to go both directions. And, and originally we're like, how fast can we make this spinning platter go? And, and he had like airplane engine designs, like literally into this thing. Wow. It, and eventually as we started looking at it for a bigger population, we're like, how slow can this spinning platter go? Like, how slow can we make it? Because everyone's at a different stage. And so... We just started solving problems. And I'm the person that asks 100 questions a day. Um, I don't have all the answers. I don't even know half the answers of anything. But I ask questions all day. Why does this kid learn it and this kid doesn't? How come this kid learned it quick? Why is this kid struggling? How, how can we speed up the learning process? And that's part of how we got to this whole expansion of the company. Of um, Do you remember the TV show, The Biggest Loser? Yes. yes. Yeah. I, I love that show. Oh my God. I mean, okay. But they apply oh, world, world class athletics to the general population and they lost so much weight. Oh my gosh. It was such a great show. Uh, they kind of screwed it up because they added in the scary trainer lady, you know, Jillian. It, like yeah. everyone's like, oh, this woman's terrifying. You know, like <laughs> uh, I like, thought Jillian was good. I didn't think she was, was scary. Right? And she's like, <laughs> like drama police of the TV show. Ah, you know, and so. We, we joke, we're the same story. We're just applying world-class sports training tools to the general population, uh, minus the Jillians of the world. You know, we're just right, right, a little right, more. Yeah. 
kumbaya type group here. But well, she's motivation. She's going to give you that motivation. <laughs> yeah, here's me. I'm just like, let's just go. You know, <laughs> no drama. It's going to be great. So, but, <laughs> uh, it it's fun to see like sports applying to the general population. You know, it is really where we're going with it. No doubt. So when you started out, Sheila, did you have an investor? Did you have other partners that started the business with you or how did it work? <laughs> You'll be horrified. So I had a <laughs> business partner years ago and I just could not stand her. Like, like I like violence, you know, like I just like, <laughs> she was a horrible, horrible business partner. And so I joke all the time that we've really done this. We've really taken all of our profits from the figure skating world and parlayed it into this project. Um, and it, it's been, it's been tough. It's been a financial drain. And I do a whole thing on, um, we haven't brought on investors uh, because we were, we're doing it. We're going to do it ourselves and we're going to figure it out and we're going to move forward and uh, we're going to team up. We're going <laughs> to, we're going to work with everybody. And uh, we're, we're doing this all on our own financially. But I stress every time, like, the insurance bill comes due. You know, I'm like, oh, oh panic, panic, panic. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you know, so that that's a little scary when that bill comes due. I'm like, how are we going to make it? Imagine. Yeah. So how do you deal with uh, mental health issues? Like, you know, have you dealt with depression in relation to this this project? But does that help too? Does Does your equipment help with with such, uh, such things as that nature? So one of the cool things, like, so when we expanded the company, I, we basically expanded in a pandemic, which, mm. okay, I don't recommend other people do. Okay, like, don't, don't do that. But we did, and we did it really successfully. But part of our success was people had some time on, you know, because it was a pandemic. So they really donated their time, especially via LinkedIn. So what I did is I just kind of went nuts on LinkedIn and started making friends with anyone that would be nice to me on LinkedIn. <laughs> and, and one of the groups that reached out to me um, is actually some of the EMDR, like the, they, they always, they always hold their head, their, their hand to their head when they talk about EMDR therapy. Um, but like Prince Harry does it, you know, it's people that have had really traumatic events and that really there's special physical or um, psychological therapists that help you work through that trauma. But there's really some fascinating research out there that when you take the EMDR work of really specialists and you add vestibular to it, that there's really a significant improvement in, in outcome. And, it, and it's shocking because especially when they applied it to the U.S. military, of uh, they saw, quote, significant improvements in adding vestibular and the EMDR therapy to suicide, PS, PTSD, Homelessness, hopelessness, and divorce, hmm. which were the five big problems within the military. And so it's one of those projects that we actually today, I just met with some coordinators at the U.S. military at, at hopefully coming on and doing some research with the military and really applying our work to, to a lot of different things. But like, but the EMDR people reached out to us, the autism and sensory people you know, for children reached out to us, you know, and we had some really, really great early results with them. Um, I, I'm doing a small project with NASA, like, like, like a tiny little project with that. I'm just a little tiny little piece of, of a project with NASA, but it's exciting to do it. Um, hey, that's all it takes with them. And uh, once they like it, and they start seeing the, the effects of it, it goes from that tiny to <laughs> Oh, yeah, please, 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 please. But, but you know, we're really excited that um, we've been working with some NFL alumni and like some of that post concussion work. And that's, that's really exciting. And it's really heartwarming to, to get to do that and, and get to work with a lot of these, you know, post athletes, you know, that, that are really having a hard time, you know, right, well, what, I got, um, what if NASA wants to be exclusive with you? They don't want nobody else to do it. They want it all for themselves. What do you do in that situation? So far, no one's asked for exclusive, but yeah, but, but you know, if not, like you said, <laughs> that's well, like the divisions of it. You know what I mean? Like they could buy one division. That'd be just fine. Right. If well, if, if NASA's <laughs> into it, they might want that. They might, they might pay you a huge, huge bucket. <laughs> like, yeah, let's listen. keep talking. I love doing it. You know, bring me. <laughs> they might get money. selfish. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
Yeah, it, it's fascinating because really we're the only company really worldwide, like we're really, really, really far ahead of really the industries in the fact that we're the only product that recognizes like, especially like the three main ear canals within your, your ear system called your vestibular that really is like vertical, horizontal and yaw, like head movement. Like we're the only product out there that really looks at all three positions of the ear. And that's, that's part of where we're seeing, we think, so much success is that really helps reset that ear canal, especially after something's happened to it. Right. No doubt. Okay. Well, um, <laughs> 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 Sheila, have you dealt with anybody that has um, like Alzheimer's uh, with the elderly crowd? We're starting to work. We're just in the early, early phases of like Parkinson's and Alzheimer's. I have worked with a couple of people with COVID, like fuzzy brain COVID and also fuzzy brain post chemo. You know, um, one of our really close personal friends just uh, survived breast cancer, but she's fuzzy from all the chemo. And so she's been working with us. So it, it's interesting to see the group just kind of keep growing and growing and uh, and the success with it. Cause really we see that there's two parts to this one. We see the success lasts about three days. So, you know, they, they get on the spinner, they do the harness, they, they, we get them spinning. Um, and they, they really see success for about three days, but if they work with me like two, three times a week, when they hit that six and eight week mark, it really sticks. Like, like it really, really sticks. Although I've had just a couple that I've worked with just one time and boy, their balance came back to center. They felt great and it really stuck. So what we probably did was just kind of snapped one of those crystals in their ear back into position and their otoliths, you know, within their ear and they felt better again. But this whole time it was just a minor tweak is all they needed and, and they feel better. So I do have some crazy weird one time success things that to me feel like an anomaly but anomalies are out there, you know, so that's kind of cool stuff. But really, we feel like at that six and eight week mark, and it's really only about five minutes of spinning, two, three times a week, six, eight week mark, it really, you can feel the changes at that point. Okay, so for somebody that lives in another country, let's say in China, uh, how does that work uh, long distance? So we, well, of course, we ship gear worldwide. <laughs> okay. Oh man, I got a shipping department. You know, they they can ship anything. But like that's the nice part is especially now with the technology of Zoom and, you know, we we can do their training without having to fly to China like we used to do in the olden days. You know, so really the olden days of, you know, like just a couple of years ago, you know, but <laughs> with Zoom training and videos and, you know, and people bounce me videos back and forth all over the world. And I can easily make corrections and our coaching team and our trainers can easily send changes so that everyone is doing it correctly. Well, can you, um, I was wondering, can you give our fans a, a little bit of, uh, you know, just to show them what, what it, uh, what it's about as far as like that, the, uh, the, the figure skate that you had on, she was very, you know, she didn't even, she wasn't even dizzy. I want, I want them to see what, what this thing is really all about and let them see that this girl that spent around a hundred million times, probably light speed and was like, I'm fine. I'm fine. That, she, me, she's not amazing. disconnected too. She's so like, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. yeah she was not <laughs> even she's dizzy at like all. That. Like she just doesn't even care, you know? Okay. So make me the, you got to make me the. That shit. Like, oh yes. Yeah, okay. that, let me share in here. And like this video really is shocking. Like no. this girl, and, and to be honest, NASA lost their minds over this video. All right, this you guys got to check crazy. this out. This, like is, this, this is crazy. This is, but this is like the craziness of what we're doing. And it's always kind of the fun part is like, the, it's almost overwhelming to see what I'm really doing, especially with the young athletes. So, okay, all right, ready? All right, oh, you guys got to check ready. this out. Check okay. this out, you guys. Hold on. It's just going to bite me just a little bit. See if it'll let me really share this out here. Okay. It's going to, uh, it might give me some problems with optimizing the video clip, but we'll see what we can do here. You, you just got to see this. No problem. And of course, the, the world's messiest desktop. Hold on. Oh man, it's all over the place. She's messy desktop. Here we go. So this is my girl. And this is also on my website too. Um, 
And it's under the athlete section of the website. And this girl's insane. Okay. So it's not just vestibular. Are you seeing this? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So it's not just vestibular, but it's access and balance and proprioception and midline cross. So both sides of her brain are working at the same time. She's spinning five and a half turns per second. And this kid is a freaking ninja. Okay. Like, like look at this kid go. She can change axes, crazy balance improvements, really fast cognitive, like really, really smart kid. So ready? And then she's going to talk about it. Really impressive. Okay, coming down. And then, of course, the most amazing part to the whole story. Okay. How dizzy are you? Um, I'm not dizzy. Not that dizzy. Not yeah. dizzy at all. Thanks. Have a great day from Vestibular Training Services. We got David. We got her. <laughs> <laughs> and she's just so like, yeah, whatever. I'm not dizzy, you know. You know, the other one too that, of course, like the U.S. military went nuts over was this one because not only does she have to here, I'm just going to start this clip up and explain it. I'm going to throw this Hiko stick at her. Where she's, so at the end, she's got to spatially catch it and catch the color that I call. So like, how crazy is this? So same thing. I'm going to crank her up on the electric spinner. And weirdly, counterclockwise is way easier than clockwise. So she's got the midline cross, the axis, the balance, the proprioception. It's fun. So like the, the, you pick up some dopamine, like it's really, really fun to do. Your brain loves some good old dopamine. And so when she comes down, I'm going to toss this at her. Ready? Here it comes. Okay, coming down. So she catches the blue. So not only did she have to make the spatial connection, you know, and, and catch it, but she also had to make a decision at the same time. Right. So she like, said that real quick too. Like just before you threw it, she knew, she knew the color before you even threw it like blue. <laughs> yeah, blue. And I chuck it. She's like, whoa, you know, like, like, but the decision-making of that. So like, that's right. part of where um, I've, one of my former students, uh, you'll see that on the website too, uh, is a, is a helicopter pilot now for the U S army. And she talks about not getting dizzy, not getting spatially disoriented, you know, and that it's a learned practice skill that could save her life her crew's life and really aviation pilots worldwide. Um, and, and that's kind of goes back to the Kobe story, you know, like don't think Kobe's pilot sucked. That dude was great. Okay. Mm. He hired a great, great pilot. Once you get up and you get confused and you can't feel the ground force winds and it tips the helicopter and you can't feel it, that it's that spatial disorientation. That's terrifying. And, mm. you know, you know, this, this is the kind of projects we're working on. Hopefully, hopefully soon with the U S military. Oh, so wow. and, it, and I think it'd be great for fighters too. They could, you know, and teach them how to, you know, get their uh, their senses back quick after after getting dazed in a fight or something like that, or get uh, come or uh, getting knocked down, having to get back up and got to clear those cobwebs. And something like this could help them recover a lot faster than they would do on their uh, on their own. Right. I, I had some messages in from a bunch of MMA guys and, of course, the tactical guys. And I remember one of the first emails I got, the guys like, I want to simulate get them getting punched in the face, <laughs> them feeling that dizzy motion and that they got to fight their way out of the dizzy. And I'm like, oh, you've come to the right place. I can make the boys dizzy without punching them in the face. You know what I mean? You know, and once again, it's that cognitive speed of how fast they can process, reset and save their lives. You know, um, I also saw some ridiculous videos of people on their back on the spinner, just laying on the spinner on their back. And it's the whole concept, too, of learning to balance and fight on your back. You know, okay. same yeah. thing, like save your life. You know, exactly. that's that's something that the piece of training that weirdly will save your life. So exactly. well, those two girls in the videos, uh, Sheila, how long did they have to train before they got that proficient at it? Okay. I'll be honest. I've been working with those girls about two years. Okay. okay? It, it, to be honest. And remember too, they come from the sport of figure skating. So they already were pretty good spinners to begin with. Of course, when you see the website, 
I've got some super slow spinners. Okay. Cause we're really working that aging category too. So there's a great video of showing my mom's balance at 75 years old, pre-test doing some vestibular training with me for about 15 turns. And then her post-test with massive balance improvements, you know, and, and my mom's getting a little bit faster again and not slowing down like she was kind of heading towards prior to really working on this gear. So for sure, we have the whole gamut of skill level. I mean, that's the fun one, seeing the really, really fast athletes. But in reality, I've got a whole set of videos of super slow and um, and still seeing improvements, even at that super slow rate, which is fabulous. Well, that's what we look for, the progress, you know? Yeah. And it's well, good that it's good speeds. Well, and that's the thing that says athletes. And as coaches, it's the 1% rule. If I get 1% today and 1% tomorrow, and that all adds up. And I think that's where we all totally agree that as coaches and athletes, that's where we see ongoing successes because because we're the 1% rule that really adds up. Yes. So is the majority of your business referral or how do you get your clients? I, I, I saw, yeah, I don't even know anymore. <laughs> <laughs> There's so much, there's so many like emails that come through the system, but you know, we really, our, our whole goal of the company is really to team up and to help as many people as possible. Sure. We have gear that goes into people's homes. That's great. That helps, you know, three, four people, the whole family uses it. It's great. But of course we really want to work with PTs and OTs and coaches and trainers and tactical guys and mil so military, like people that can really help hundreds and hundreds of people with the same amount of gear. Uh, you know, it, school systems. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited about working with a lot of schools and autism programs and kids mm -hmm. reading programs and, and cognitive based stuff to really help kids improve. Cause of course the whole base of the company is really children. You know, I mean, that's, I want to improve kids lives that bring them through the whole system and I want to improve all kids lives. So I, I want to get into good school districts and bad school districts. And I want to get into everywhere to help as many kids as I can. That's that's the whole goal within the company. That's good. Yes. So God forbid, you know, we have another quarantine situation. But in the event that we do, could you do seminars online for groups of kids or groups Absolutely. of adults? Yeah. Absolutely. Um, I've spoken at so many conferences. I've done some aging conferences and some PT conferences. I just got booked in England to do an in-person conference in July. I'm all excited. I'm like... <laughs> I hope this works out, you know, but <laughs> oh, please let this work out. But, you know, but like I really do, I do a ton of Zooms. I do tons of training. Like I, we really, through the power of Zoom now, uh, we, we do worldwide projects all the time, all during through the week. Not, not a problem. That's great. So at this point of your life, would you say that you're living in your purpose? I'm obsessed with my purpose obsessed. Like, like, I think you can see that in me. I'm like this all the time. Like I am lit all the time. This is all I want to do to the point. I think my family's sick of me, like super sick of me. <laughs> this is all I want to do. This is all I want to, I, I get up in the morning and I think about this and I go to bed and, and I run it all day and I dream about it. And I, mm -hmm. I, I'm so obsessed with this project that, um, <laughs> I'm possibly a little uh, much to deal with, you know, uh, high maintenance would probably be referred to me. <laughs> that's, that's just your passion. Yeah. That's just your passion. You know, that's so, wonderful. You know, to do something that you love and get paid for it. That's amazing. Let's go. Let's, let's team up. Let's make the world a better place. Let's improve the world and not sound crazy saying that. Let's do it. Let's team up. Everybody, let's, let's all work together. That's right. Awesome. So how can people find you on social media, Sheila? <laughs> I'm on LinkedIn, Sheila Thielen. And it, Thielen is spelled T and then Helen, T-H-E-L-E-N. I'm on LinkedIn. Uh, Vestibular Training Services is also on LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, all that good stuff. Uh, the website, we actually made it easier. Originally, the website, I joke, we had the world's worst marketing guy because the, the website is vestibulartrainingservices.com. But we just added a new website called spinyourbrain.com. 
www.spinyourbrainwithspin.com that leads into it. So a lot easier to find us now on spinyourbrain.com. Easy enough to do. Oh, I like that. Great. Thank you so much for being on our show, Sheila. We, we really enjoyed you. Definitely. Let's go. Let's team up. Can't wait. Thank right. you for all your Absolutely. time. Absolutely. All right. Thank you. Take care. To connect with Sheila Thelen, please go to spinyourbrain.com, where you can also find her at Facebook and Instagram at Vestibular Training Systems.
To sign up for coaching or purchase Kim Brady's books, just go to KimBradyBusinessCoaching.com slash books. And for social media, Facebook or Instagram, CoachKB15.